Africa Games comes to an end today with the host nation Ghana hoping to make it a host and win at the The history of the game to win bronze and gold at different competitions. But the man, Yusuf Basigi, this evening would be celebrated as an African. Chance for Nigeria moving into Ghana territory. Cross comes in, but it's blocked. Look like it from the right hand side. It's got to be a left footed. In swinger, I guess it's going direct to the goalkeeper. Shoma bends one, but it's get into the box. It goes onto the roof of the goalpost for a goal kick. Carl and finish. They have the experience and the exposure. They better watch it so that they don't get penalised for it. Captain Alani to take the free kick for Nigeria. Victoria Alani swings one in straight to Ghana's goalkeeper Afi Amenyeku. Ghana loses possession ball for Chioma Olise. Nigeria looking very comfortable on the ball at this stage. Here is Chioma. It's a long drive from afar, and Amenyeku is right to let and grabs it for Ghana. Oh, the Real Society, that ladies player lines up to take this one. She sends one in, tricky one, and it goes out. It took the Nigerian goalkeeper fit. Omalina by surprise. She's always going to struggle in that area of tussles with Oladeje and Nancy Akinwa. Here is Mukarama. Lovely play from Mukarama. Can she turn a decent cross? It is still Mukarama for Ghana. She's got contention from Oladipo and Mukarama. It tells you how anxious the Ghanaians are to stop the Nigerians but I think that they need to be careful a chance for Nigeria what a mistake from Ghana's goalkeeper Afi Amanyaku she's basically gifted Nigeria the opening goal what a howler how did she do that in an epic game like this Nigeria in the lead against Ghana in Cape Coast it's Ghana nil Nigeria won and She's got herself to blame. Let's see how it happened. Long ball taken by Nigeria's Oladipo. This was harmless. She handled it. She left it. And Nigeria score. The opening goal through Lobet Ede. You realize that a similar foul was committed, a similar mistake was committed in the game against Uganda in the final group game. I mean, these are the kind of... Chumba is cleared away by... Ola Dipo for Nigeria. Here is Philomena Yena. Ball is cleared back by Ghana's Spelini Eboa. Mayfia Nyame not on the same page with Mukarama as Nigeria's captain won't allow the ball to roll out for a throw in. Punsa finds Mukarama. Can Ghana get an equalizer? Here is Mukarama and Ghana nearly finding the back of the net, but Tracy. That's the earlier build up. Good run from Mukarama. She did want to control the ball. She was trying to cut back, but Tracy unable to connect it. She did all she could, only to be denied by the woodwork. Good chance. Ghana begging. Nigeria left off the hook. Not too sure she made the needed contact she really wanted, improved. She's one of the most improved female players on the local scene. She's behind it. I've seen Abiba Isa also showing interest. It very much looks like it's comfort you're about to take it. There's Mukarama, Tracy, and the rest in the 18-yard box. A chance Mukarama heads the ball down, but nobody to the end of it for the Ghanaians. 
Jaradine Conan is asking for some attention. That's the earlier free kick from Comfort Yeboah. Up to the head of Mukarama. You're expecting that the Ghanaians will be, you know, around lurking and hoping to connect. But Tracy was missing in action. Here is Ophelia and Ponsa for Ghana. Nigeria take possession. Blessing, okay. Comfort here, Boa. Head sit down, but it's straight to Lobet Ede. She says one is tricky, but this time I was right there on the spot. And she called, she made a right call. Nigeria stringing passes together. Choma Olise trying to put one through for Blessing, okay. Good defensive play from Ghana's Hana Nyami. <laughs> Ola Depo to Ola Deji. Back to Ola Depo. Goes back to Nancy Okinwa. Nancy Okinwa's ball found Yina, who is able to find the captain Alani. Nigeria's Ope is in control now. They look comfortable at this stage, Nigeria. And it seems the Ghanaians are allowing them to play all the balls. Love it, Ede. That's brilliant defending from Habiba. But Nigeria can score a second and onto the side post. Delighting Wasu. Missing from close range. Nigeria still putting pressure on Ghana. This time, Yabua gets the ball away. Throwing. Hanging on to the 1-0 lead from halftime. And what's to Isaac goes past Abiba Isa. A chance for the Nigerian second goal. She's trying to set up a teammate. She was trying to be unselfish, ball falls to blessing. Ope, Ope swings in across, away by Ghana's Comfort Yeboa, and the eventual delivery okay. was unable to return to the pitch. So her place is taken by. Mephia swings one to the near post, it's into the side net. Not the best of free kicks taken by Mephia Nyame on that occasion. The first one was shown Idi um, Ede, Lovet Ede, moments after she had scored the goal. Good interception. Have already come up with a couple of substitutions. Here is Mukarama Abdullahi for Ghana. There she finds Comfort Yaboa. Yaboa wants to shoot her foot is blocked, but she stays down. A chance for Ghana. Can Ghana equalize? And that's the equalizer. Ghana have equalized. And who? Tracy Chum. The Black Princesses are back in it. It is Tracy Chum who puts the Ghanaians on level pegging. It's Ghana 1, Nigeria 1. A perfect time to get equalizer and push the game. Push the game possibly into extra time. If you do not get a second goal within the regulation 90 minutes. But it is a sweet, sweet performance from the Ghanaians. They have them put, they search for it, they never gave up. I told you about the mental fortitude they needed and the can do spirit. And when they needed it the most, Tracy Chum steps up and she makes it count. Ghana won, Nigeria won. Look at the build up to the goal. She took it one time without a touch. Brilliant, brilliant finish. This is a quality finish from a player who really didn't live up to it in the second half. But when it matters most, she's made it count. Tracy puts Ghana up on level pair again. I think give the credit to Berlin. Berlin did well in ensuring that she got the ball to Tracy at the right time. The whole focus was on the left. And then she dis... Chance for Ghana. Here is Mukarama. a brilliant 10. Ghana in the lead in extra time. It is Mukarama Abdullahi. She shot Ghana in the lead from a go down. The Black Princesses are within the touching distance of the gold medal. It's 98 minutes extra time football. The Black Princesses are on course for a host and win of the Africa Games 2023 Women's Football Edition. It's Ghana 2, Nigeria 1. Philomena Yina. Okuchuku.
blessing Okbe goes down and that's the final whistle it's all over Ghana have won gold at the 13th Africa Games Accra 2023 a feat masterminded by Yusi Basigi the same coach who won gold for Ghana in 2015 he's been able to do same with the black princesses of Ghana He's guided Ghana to beat Nigeria again after guiding Ghana to beat Nigeria in the inaugural Wafu B Under 20 Championship last year in Kumase. The Ghanaians have repeated what they did to the Nigerians back last year here in Cape Coast. Ghana, gold medalist, the 2023 13th edition of the Africa Games, 2 1 in favor of the Ghanaians and what a way to win your gold medal they consider the first goal when Nigeria's Lovett Ede scored back from recess the Ghanaians equalized through Tracy Chum and when it mattered most Mukarama Abdullah stood up to be counted and scored the winning goal for the Ghanaians it's over and Ghana are champions Roslyn an amazing feat achieved by the Ghanaians mission accomplished they set out to on a mission to win gold on home soil because this is the land of gold, formerly called Gold Coast. So there was no way they were going to make the gold elude them once it was brought home. And rightly so, Basigi has led the princesses to make this dream come true. I mean, great comeback story. Great, great comeback story. These are the things that make football what it is. Now, the male team of Ghana have a responsibility to replicate the feat achieved by the female team when they come up against Uganda in the men's final later on tomorrow. But for now, it's party time in Cape Coast and the whole of Ghana as the princesses clinch gold at the Africa Games. So it brings Ghana's gold haul to seven. Basigi, your star player Mukarama made the difference. Your patience paid off. How do you react to that? Yeah, um, just like I said earlier on, Mukarama is one player. She's a household name. And um, with time, I know with time she was going to make it. So that's why I had patience for her throughout and was using her, guiding her. And I would say that she's the most experienced striker among all the teams here. So I'm not surprised that she had this uh, wonderful goal. Congratulations, coach. Thank you very much. Yeah. Woo! <laughs> 